Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to roll. It's your girl Keonti and I'm getting ready to bring us a reading. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, my baby shark, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the Pisces cross watcher. Welcome. It could definitely resonate from your perspective. Guys, remember it is energy and it's a general read so everything i say won't resonate for every last single one of you please use your beautiful intuition and your discernment keep what resonates for you and release what does not if i get it right for you baby sharks take care of your girl with the like comment subscribe and a share and if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading my email information is for the love of water tarot at gmail.com okay it's also provided in the description box below the video pisces just so you guys know i did score Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Capricorn, P please be on the lookout for those videos and support your girl if you want to cross watch or just support me in general, okay? All right, Pisces, let's see who's coming towards us. Let's see. Running, so it's someone that you're avoiding, curious about you. Okay, Pisces, this could definitely be a busy person. Let me just say this. Pisces is either somebody who you're avoiding that's curious about you, definitely curious about where you're running off to and what, what you got going on because you could have your back turned towards them, or this is someone who just runs around a lot. Let me get one more on this energy. This could definitely be someone who has a busy schedule that does a lot of moving around, ignoring. Okay, but then now that's specific. And then look, they're stressed out again. So... Pisces, again, and this has been coming up in our read. You guys see I shuffle the decks. I'm, this is somebody. They could perhaps feel like you're ignoring them because you're busy, right? Pisces, why do I feel like someone may feel like you're, you're, you're running from this connection? I feel like somebody could be definitely feeling kind of stressed out because they feel like you're running from the connection. Or Pisces, you are literally ignoring somebody because you're busy and it's stressing them out, right? What's this all about for the baby sharks? Divination abuser. So Pisces, you are being quiet here. This is my high priestess, but divination abuser comes out for me with somebody who is now using their intuition. Some of you are definitely psychics. We are we're, we're intuitives, psychically gifted. There's an intuitive energy with the divination abuser of let me withdraw back. My intuition is telling me to pull back because I feel like spiritually someone is taking my kindness for weakness right someone has crossed the line taking my kindness for weakness overstepped their boundaries right some of you i'm getting like an energy vampire i don't know why i'm getting this the player yeah game plan game plan some of you feel like you like playing games with someone has drained you right <laughs> the creativity muncher but there here here comes here comes someone who is definitely wanting to collaborate with you. This is someone that feeds off of your energy, Pisces. Let me write that down. This is someone who feeds off of your energy. In one way or another. So, Pisces, it could be sexual chemistry. It could be creative chemistry. It's some, It's just something here. That's, this is like, definitely, this is like the Ace of Wands for me when someone wants to collaborate and co-create and, and co with you. But this could also be like it, with the abuser in here, steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates and feeds off of you. So there's an energy that's fe that's been feeding off of you. I feel like you've withdrawn from this energy. You're you're running and avoiding it. This I do feel like whatever this energy is, it feels ignored. This 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 energy is aware that you are trying to not feed it, right? Oh yeah, Pisces, you're not feeding the beast. This is what you're not doing. Uh huh. Whatever this energy is, Pisces, just put it where it goes. Because this could be many different things. But there's definitely an energy that you are trying to avoid. Intuitively, you feel like you do not want to have your, your... You're being a high priestess. You don't want your skills, your gifts, your ability, your kindness, your intuitive, your psychicness. Whatever it is, you don't want it abused. And this is definitely somebody who wants to feed up off of it, Pisces. So let's see how all this is unfolding here for the baby sharks. Ooh-wee. You're not feeding the beast. Nightmares. This person is stressed or this energy is stressed. This is insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things, eyes under the bag. That, oh yeah, this is somebody who is stressed because they're feeling left out in the cold. Now, someone could definitely be stressed about money. This could be somebody stressed about money. You could not be collaborating with someone about money, right? You're not giving to, to someone. But this is just someone feeling very left out in the cold, very removed. Give me some more how this is going down for Pisces. Queen rising, you are in power and control here. Yeah, give me one more for how this is gonna play out, and we're gonna clarify. Baby sharks, take care of your girl with the like. Ooh, ghost. Some of you're dealing with the Virgo. 
lonely Pisces I do feel like you are leaving some energy to it's lonely you are leaving some energy to deal with their own ghosts their own shadow side their own BS they're it's stressing them out Pisces I do feel like you are this queen rising you are stepping into power praise coming up you're in the spotlight right you are in power and control now you're not feeding this beast you have the power in this situation however this is going I do feel like Pisces, someone is worried that you may go ghost on them. Pisces, someone is definitely worried that you're going ghost. They're, they're definitely worried that you're withdrawn because you're not lonely. This person is. They're worried. What's under this lonely energy? Acting cold. Yes, I'm telling you, Pisces. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's get some clarification on this, baby. Shards, like, comments. You are not feeding this beast. I feel this strongly. Someone could definitely be worried that you're going to go ghost on, on, on them. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Some of you are dealing with another Pisces. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Doesn't have to be any of these signs, but this is how it feels like to me. Pisces, whatever this is that you are now running and avoiding because you, like, you, you like, and, and, and again, I don't want to say running and avoiding, Pisces. It does feel like you could definitely be extremely busy. And it's almost like you ignore some sort of energy because you're busy. And you're also keeping yourself busy here. And, and it is because of the high priestess interview. This energy wants to feed off of you, but you're not feeding the beast. Again, let's go ahead and get some more for this. Give me some for running and ignoring for Pisces. Cycle, yep, because it's been some sort of repeat cycle with you and this person. Ecstasy, I feel like it's the highs and the lows. It's good and it's bad, right? It's these cycles. When it's good, it's good. But then when it's not so good, it's not so good. Pisces, a lot of you are trying to like someone that you have like really strong sexual chemistry with. You're trying to ignore that because of some sort of cycle between you and this person. Give me one for the divination abuser here. Sacrifice. This is you, Pisces. See, this is you. I feel like you're doing this because you're not willing to sacrifice, giving up a prized possession, making a decision for a greater cause, the act of surrendering to appease someone. Pisces, you are not in that energy. You do not want to surrender to appease, appease, appease someone or something's energy here that I feel like wants to feed off of you. The beast, right? Yep, codependent. The devil, I'm telling you, you're not feeding some beast, Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces, a Capricorn. Pisces, if somebody is having... um. Some sort of toxic codependent thing dealing with money. You're not feeding that beast. If someone is having some sort of toxic codependent thing doing with drugs, alcohol. If someone is just feeling stuck and tired and they can't get their ears together, you're not feeding that beast either. Pisces, I do feel like there is someone that feels co totally codependent upon you, though, because the creativity much of this is the beast that wants to be fed. This is the beast that wants to be fed. So let's get some for this. The creativity much for Pisces. The truth. I'm telling you. The Ace of Swords. I'm telling you. This is true. Speaking with honesty. What's hidden will come to light. All will be revealed. So this energy is going to tell you that they want to. You're going to hear this. You're going to hear that they want to collab with you. Right? They want to They want to creativity much. Because sometimes be a lick of the ice cream in a very sexual way. But this is definitely someone that wants to feed off of your energy. Misdirection. It's like they don't know what they want to do. So they want to feed off of your. What do you think? What, what do you think I should do? Right? What would you do if you were me? Which way would you take something, right? Mm-hmm. It could be literally, I don't know what I'm going to do. What you think? Ooh, be Pisces. This person is stressed out. They're, 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 they're having a nine of swords energy, and it's because you're in power now. It's because you're in the driver's seat. Give me one for this nine of swords. You're in the driver's seat here, baby sharks. Lessons. See, this person learning some real lessons here with trial and error, confessions. They, I do feel like they want to tell you. Give me one for this queen rising. I feel like that's you, Pisces. I do. Wedding ring, you looking like marriage material here, divine timing. Yeah, Pisces. For some of you, I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or something like that, but for some of you in divine timing, there's something here about you getting some sort of commitment. You being in power and control. Some of you are just like right now calling the shots. In your marriage, in your home, if you're married here. If there's something about somebody in another relationship, this could be divine timing on them deciding what the hell they gonna do. Because you're no longer feeding that beast. The mind games are, mm-hmm. I, I feel it. You're not feeding the beast. So give me one for this ghost. I do feel like somebody is, Pisces, for some of you, somebody is worried that divine time is going to kick in for you. Because now it's uh you and this queen rising energy. And they, they're afraid that you're going to ghost them. That you're going to leave their ass in the dust. For sure. 
I also feel like there's somebody like right in the shadows. This ghost with the nightmares is stressing about you. Give me one for this ghost energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Bondage. Capricorn energy. Look at that. Closed off. See, it's something about it. it's nothing that they could do, Pisces. And I don't mean that in a negative way, like they're not going to do anything. I mean, I mean, like in terms of about you. You're in power. You're in control. Their hands are tied. If you choose to keep them in, if you choose to ghost them, you will. You shall. Some of you have. Right? If you choose to respond, you will. I also feel like this is, I told you, there's like a ghost. There's something lingering. This is a person that's lingering in bondage in a, in a situation dealing with you. Again, this person could definitely be like bondage is definitely feeling. Look, unable to free oneself, tied and bound, physical and mental restrictions, past trauma affecting current state of mind. This could be somebody who wants to speak to you about this ish, right? About the about, about the ghost that's haunting them. What's haunting them, right? Things that's haunting them. Somebody is definitely having like bad dreams or something like that. There's nightmares. I don't know what's going on. That came up in uh, who else is reading that come up in Scorpios. That came up in Scorpio's read too. Something about dreams and nightmares. Let's give let's get a couple more on this baby sharks. And then I'm gonna clarify with tarot. Give me one for the cycle of running. I just I definitely feel like you're trying to ignore some sort of triggering cycle with someone and they feel it. Yep, receipts. Proof. Show me. Pisces, if somebody is trying to offer you receipts, I feel like you're not even trying to get them. Settlement. I do feel like someone wants to compromise here with you. They do. But it's something about you like wanting receipts. For sure. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna believe anything. You're gonna ignore something until you see it, until you get some receipt settlement. Some of you that definitely some of you may be getting receipts on a on, on a uh some sort of settlement too. They've been avo running and avoiding paying, but they're they're about to pay up. Give me one for the divination abuser and a sacrifice. This is definitely you, you Pisces. You are definitely using your intuition. You're very silent. You're definitely in an energy where you're not surrendering. Wish. Hoping, praying, yearning. Pisces, you could definitely be right now focused on your wish fulfillment here. I definitely feel like there's a lot of zen. There's something about you meditating. But there is a soulmate here that is hoping, wishing, and praying for something with you as well. It could be a Sagittarius. Wish could also be like wishing on a star. It could be an Aquarius. Yeah, interlude. There's this pause between you and this energy. You, I feel like you t you're taking the pause. Give me one for the creativity mantra and the truth. This is going to be, someone's going to tell you. It's going to be spoken, Archangel Michael. Prevent protection and preventing from harm, divine intervention. Pisces, you are protected. Listen, baby, listen. And under here is ascension. Ooh, Pisces, but I like what I like the energy you in. I do. I feel like right now is a very intuitive time for us. Very intuitive. I do feel like there's a real energy of manifesting your dreams. I feel like some of you are definitely connecting with your spirit guides and angels. You're getting divine guidance, divine protection. Like nothing can hurt you because of this ascension that you're that you're doing right now. <coughs> this, <coughs> excuse me, the spiritual path and this awakening that you're having. So so you can't be like even if someone wants to copy off you to be even if though the beast may want to feed off of you Pisces it can't unless you allow it because you are protected. That's the truth. Pisces, you're, I don't feel like you are feeding the beast, but I feel like the beast can't feed off of you even if it wanted to because you're protected. You're ascending here. Woo -wee. And I also feel like the beast can't feed off of you until they ascend, right? That's the truth. Like you won't feed a beast until it ascends. Until it gets on the spiritual paths and wake the F up. So give me one for this nightmare lesson here for Pisces. This is somebody stressed out. And I feel like there could be a lesson a, a lesson that you're you're teaching them. Poison. See over this toxic uh ish. Toxic unhealthy behaviors and people. Somebody learning a lesson by this toxic ish. Here's a love affair. It could be something about, something about keeping secrets here, learning lessons about that type of stuff. Give me one for this queen rising. Pisces, there's something about you being in power and control. I do feel like in divine timing, there's some sort of commitment that you got coming here. Waves, emotions coming and going. Pisces, this may be something that may make you emotional. Negotiate it. There's damn sure somebody that's getting ready to try to come in and negotiate something. So you're going to have some sort of wave of emotions here, Pisces. Somebody may be trying to evoke that up out of you because you are the queen rising, because you are in power and control. Somebody really want to wet your whistle here, Pisces. I feel like for some of you, this is my sex. This is a sexual energy for me. So let's see why this ghost is in bondage here. Let's see. <laughs> Desire. Pisces, this is somebody trapped in their head, feeling stuck. They re realization, yeah, they they realize how they feel about you. Pisces, however this is real, however this is going, I feel like they're in bondage over their desire for you, 
for sure. They desire this. That's the that's like they want this ice cream cone here. Ooh Let's get some terror on this, baby sharks. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. If this is resonating. Email me. Email me if you're interested in booking me. I love y'all. And please make sure y'all support some of the other signs. I get asked a lot. I finally went ahead and got some done today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> it could be one of those signs I did. All right, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get some terror on this. Let's see. Yep, Pisces, I do feel like you are running and avoiding any 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 cyclical shit, any any cycles that's going on and on. I feel like you're trying to avoid and run and avoid that until you see some sort of receipts of something changing here. For sure. I feel like that energy is well aware that you're doing that. Give me some for this energy for Pisces. Ten of Cups. I do feel like this is what you're chasing. This is what you're after. The ultimate happiness, peace, tranquility, stability. This is when you feel loved, appreciated, honored, and comfortable in your community. This is what you want. The Wheel of Fortune. You're ready for that change and you're doing it. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Sag. Mm -hmm. So Pisces, let's see why you're sitting here in this High Priestess energy. You're definitely in your energy. With the divination abuser and sacrifice. Pisces, I feel like your intuition has told you to withdraw. That's why you're being quiet. I feel like you're not in the energy of giving up a prized possession. You're not in, you're not interested in making a decision for the greater good. I think definitely feel, feel like you're definitely focusing your, on yourself in a very good, healthy way. And I do feel like you're not getting ready to surrender to appease anyone. I feel like you're manifesting and you're going after your hopes, wish, and dreams. Now, it could definitely be someone who was wishing and hoping for you, Pisces. And you could have withdrew because you feel like this person has uh, been taking your kindness for weakness, right? They sacrificed you, right? Give me one for this for Pisces. Clarify this energy for the baby sharks for me. Put it where it goes, y'all. I, I say a lot of stuff. All the stuff could be true. The tower. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Boom, it's going to dynamite here. The five of cups. Pisces, I do feel like you blew up some ish that you got. You Like, you just blowing up ish dealing with people, places, and things that you tired of being disappointed of. But I do feel like this person is real disappointed now. They wish, they wish, they wish. Because look at the two of cups under here. Yep, there's a king of swords. Five of swords, yep. This is one somebody wanting a competitive edge, wanting to win at all costs. Manipulation, mind games. Nobody won. Four of swords. They sitting up thinking about it now. You got them thinking about it. So let's get some for this creativity muncher. Pisces, there is somebody that wants to feed off of your energy. This beast wants to feed off of you. You are protected. You're prevented from harm, and that's the truth. But I do feel like someone's going to speak it. They're going to tell you. Someone definitely could want to feed off of your energy because you speak with honesty, right? You do. And they could definitely want to steal your idea, copy off your work, duplicate you, or literally just feed off of your energy. But Pisces, you got some divine protection here, too. I see that as well. Page of Cups. I do feel like there's going to be somebody that's going to reach out and make some sort of offer. The lovers, yeah, this is very amorous feeling. I'm just sort of admiring. Be dealing with a Gemini, a younger water sign. Give me one more. This creativity wants you here for Pisces. The devil. There you go. There go the beast. There you go. I'm telling you, somebody is in bondage. They desire something with you. They want to feed off of your energy real bad. And they stress the hell out, Pisces, because the cards are telling me you are in power and control. The Hierophant, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Somebody could be in a toxic relationship. Somebody could be have a toxic thing going on with work. It could be a real negative, toxic work environment. Somebody could be in a bad contract, a bad lease, right? Somebody could be having money problems. Mm-mm. Let's get one on this nightmare. This person is having sleepless nights. They're definitely, this is that devil energy here. This is teaching them a lesson, Pisces. You're teaching someone, you're teaching, a, you're teaching the energy a lesson by not feeding the beast. I see it. The nine of cups. If somebody thought that they were full of themselves, you're teaching them a lesson about that, right? I do feel like there's some sort of wish yeah, I do feel like yeah, I do feel like somebody learning a lesson about being full of themselves, overindulging, or something like that. But I also feel like you got your your hands your hands crossed. I feel like you also kind of you kind of being smug and you like I'm gonna let people have whatever it is they wish to have, right? If you wish to do that, do that, right? Yeah, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Somebody definitely got something they want to say here, Pisces. So let's get one for the Queen Rise and the Wedding Ring, the Divine Time and, and Ways. Pisces, you are in power and control. I do feel like you're, there's some sort of commitment coming towards you in Divine Time, and if someone knows it, they could be worried. 
They could be worried. Six of cups. See? See, this is soulmate energy. Again, this could be someone that you've known since childhood, have children with, someone you just have real fond memories with. Four of cups. See, I feel like this is somebody who feel like they're going to miss an opportunity with you. Because I feel like there's somebody stressed and worried that in divine time, that you did that, that, like in divine time and that you're going like you're because you're in power and control, you're going to get some sort of um commitment here. Look, four cups and a hermit. There go that ghost. I'm telling you, somebody could definitely be worried about being rejected. The star, because there's, there's some sort of energy of um hoping that they can heal something with you. Someone could be seeing you as wish fulfillment. one for this ghost that's in bondage. Pisces, it's somebody who desire the hell out of you. They are in bondage. Pisces, this person could definitely be worried that you're going to ghost them or they feel like you're ghosting them. If you're not giving in to their desires, it's stressing them the hell out. There is somebody extremely attracted to you physically if this is about love. But this doesn't have to be about love. Honestly, this could be with family, family members, like people asking for money for children. This could be children stepping over and crossing the line. <laughs> It could be all type of stuff. But I do feel like, Pisces, you are the queen rising now. You are in power and control. You are, you, like, you're in, like, you're in a, in um energy of being in control now. But it's all because you use your, you're using your intuition and you're deciding not to feed the beast. It's causing the beast a problem here. <laughs> Whatever the beast is. Give me one foot. Somebody is definitely, the beast is in bondage. The seven of cups. Somebody is definitely fantasizing for you, about you, for some of you high priestess. See, there you go. There you go. Pisces, I feel like you are in total awareness of something. You are. You can know somebody in bondage. No matter how much you desire somebody, you can know they got some toxic codependent ish going on. You can know somebody got some toxic independent, uh, codependent ish going on with their money, with their family. You can know somebody is sitting up fantasizing about you, wanting you really badly. You know something. Three of cups. You know that this person wants to come towards you. Yes, you do. You know it, Pisces. Give me one more for this. Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, they stressed out. Once again, they are stressed out. They are having those sleepless nights, those nightmares and whatnot. It's here twice. Four of Wands. I, don't, I feel like this person is not sleeping well. I feel like they don't sleep well wherever they sleep. I also feel like they fantasize about sleeping wherever you are with the Four of Wands. They definitely go back and forth in their head. Oh, Pisces, let me show you something. This is what this person is doing or this energy is doing because what they really want to do, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Let me show you, Pisces, Queen of Cups. This is really where they want to be, where you are. They want to be where you are, Pisces. But again, I feel like you're not feeding the beast. And this could be what's certainly making the beast want to be where you are even more. But you are in power and control, and I love that for you. All right, baby sharks, that's how I'm seeing it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. Y'all are the MVPs of my channel, and I appreciate y'all so much for y'all continued support. YouTube been trying to hit on you, girl, but a lot of y'all are loyal, and y'all mess with me. I appreciate that. You guys stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy. Have a very safe weekend, and take care of yourselves. I'll bring you messages again. Bye, Pisces.